Hey everybody, we're now looking at national income, okay, macroeconomics and national income. And the sort of things that we're going to look at is what is it, uh, the causes of change in national income, and something called the circular flow of income. So, straight away, uh, what is it? It's the total income earned, okay, it's actually the total, total income earned by the, the providers of factors of production. But just think of it as the total income earned. Now, I want to move on to the circular flow of income, which is this, okay, so you've got some households and they consume goods, don't they, that are produced by firms. And in return, the firms give the household wages, they give them income in the form of wages. All right, now that's the circular flow of income. Now that's obviously a very, very simplified model, where what we're saying is consumption by the households absolutely equals the income from the producer and so it just goes round and round and round and it's in perfect equilibrium okay we also call the consumption there we call it aggregate demand just to introduce that term to begin with so at the moment we are in simple equilibrium all right and you can also see the consumption as being what we spend and what we, we, we spend everything that we receive okay so obviously it's an oversimplified version now also I'm going to put some symbols onto this so consumption is C expenditure is E they're easy income you know think of a Y as being like an I so income is Y uh, and that's it really for now the simple model but obviously there's complications to this model isn't there and the complications are well it doesn't there isn't a circular flow because sometimes we trade overseas so that will disrupt it also government will influence this so again that there's a government here uh, in our simple model there's no mention of a government and finally of course you might not spend all that you receive you might have some savings so there are some complications now I just want to leave it at that at this first class on national income just so you understand the circular flow the basics and we'll make it we'll expand on it in the next lecture